At the end of December 2021, an underwater volcano with a rather exotic name, Hunga Tonga, woke up after several years of sleeping. It did that with so much energy and strength that people heard the eruption from over a hundred miles away. Then it went back to sleep. But a couple of weeks later, it woke up again with a force seven times greater than the first time. It broke the island above it in two parts. The lightning storm that started because of the eruption was the most intense in recorded history. The sound waves from the eruption traveled around the planet several times. Someone even heard a loud boom from it in Alaska. And it started the first known mega tsunami since ancient times. This tsunami took the lives of two people as far as Peru and caused trouble for two fishermen in California. But that's not all. This eruption could change the weather patterns on Earth for years. You may see the first proof in the summer of 2024, which is forecast to become much wetter than usual. Scientists believe the eruption was caused by gas building up to a critical point. Different minerals, including anhydrite quartz and sulfides, were building up for several months until they blocked the flow paths and sealed the gas within Hunga Tonga. Normally, when a volcano erupts, the fumes cause a temporary cooling effect on Earth's surface. But Hunga Tonga's eruption was different. It didn't produce much fumes, but released a massive amount of water vapor, roughly equal to 60,000 Olympic swimming pools. The intense heat of the eruption turned huge amounts of seawater into steam, which then blasted high into the atmosphere. All that water vapor ended up in the stratosphere, a layer of the atmosphere that's too dry to form clouds or rain. Scientists don't have any observations of volcanic eruptions like Hunga Tonga to predict its effects on our weather patterns. They can't tell exactly how long these effects might last either. This is because the only way to measure stratospheric water vapor is with satellites, which have only been around since 1979, and there hasn't been an eruption similar to Hunga Tonga in that time. Experts from different countries started analyzing satellite data right after the Hunga Tonga eruption. They wanted to find out how long water vapor would stay in the stratosphere, where it would go, and, most importantly, what this would mean for the planet. The first big result of the eruption, at least partially, was a huge hole in the stratosphere that was hanging on for several months in 2023. By the time it appeared, the water vapor had reached the polar stratosphere over Antarctica. In the following years, there wouldn't be enough water vapor left to enlarge this hole. It looks like Hunga Tonga will have just a minimal effect on global average temperatures. But there are some surprising, lasting regional impacts. One of the scientific models forecasts colder and wetter winters for northern Australia until about 2029. In North America, it predicts warmer winters and Scandinavia could have even colder winters. This is just one study, though, and one approach to understanding how the eruption of Hunga Tonga can change our weather. We do have at least one example from history when a volcano eruption changed the world. Over two centuries ago, in 1815, Mount Tambora erupted and caused the year without a summer. In the following year, the winter was unusually cold and wet weather across Europe and North America. A recent study confirms that 1816 wouldn't have been this cold without the volcanic eruption. The immediate effects of the eruption were catastrophic, with tsunamis destroying homes claiming 10,000 lives and 80,000 more who fell ill in the aftermath. The eruption of Mount Tambora was one of the strongest in the last thousand years. It had ejected an enormous amount of sulfur dioxide into the stratosphere, which quickly spread across the world. It resulted in the coldest year in at least the last 250 years. In May, frost wiped out most of the crops in New York, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, and Vermont. By June, heavy snow covered the ground in Albany, New York, and Denny'sville, Maine, and New Jersey had five straight nights of frost. The cold continued into late summer, which should have been the harvest season. In July, lakes and rivers were still frozen as far south as northwestern Pennsylvania and frost stayed in Virginia until late August. Temperatures would drop from above normal summer highs to near freezing within just a few hours. The weather was completely unpredictable. Prices of food skyrocketed. The cost of oats for horses, which were the main mode of transportation, also rose sharply. 
Some people believe this situation inspired Carl Drace to invent the bicycle in 1817 as an alternative transportation method. Tambora changed weather patterns completely for not just one, but three years. The whole planet got colder, and as crops failed, probably at least a million people starved. Scientists don't have solid evidence of volcano eruptions that have taken more lives than Tambora. But the Krakatoa eruption in Indonesia in 1883 is far more famous than Tambora because information about it spread worldwide via telegrams and photos. Its final blast was the loudest recorded sound in history, and people could hear it on 10% of the entire Earth's surface. The eruption started a tsunami with waves about half as tall as the Statue of Liberty. Still, it was less powerful than Tambora's eruption. The island that once hosted Krakatoa disappeared in the eruption, but new eruptions began less than 50 years later and created the child of Krakatau Cone in the center of the caldera of the old eruption. The new volcano still comes to life from time to time. Mount Vesuvius' eruption, which took down Pompeii, is one of the most well-known volcanic disasters in history. It took around 2,000 lives, much fewer than Tambora. According to a famous Roman author of that time, the eruption lasted 18 hours. Pompeii was covered by a layer of ash and pumice that was thicker than twice an average human height. The nearby coastline also changed dramatically. In today's world, the after-effects of volcanic eruptions are often more dangerous than the eruption themselves. Thanks to advances in technology, we can now predict volcanic eruptions more accurately and use safety measures like evacuations and flight cancellations. But there's still a lot of risk that changes in weather patterns and drought all over the world, especially in areas like India, East Asia, and East Africa that are affected by monsoons. Volcano eruptions can also have effects you wouldn't probably expect, like the evolution of dinosaurs. These guys were once the size of cats, waiting for their time to shine. It came around 230 million years ago. This time is known as the Carnian Pluvial episode. Before it, Pangaea was a dry and arid supercontinent. But then, there were four major volcanic events that pumped huge amounts of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Global temperatures and humidity spiked because of it. These massive eruptions most likely happened because of the Rangelia Large Igneous Province eruption in what is now British Columbia and Alaska. This prolonged volcanic activity created the right conditions for dinosaurs to blossom and diversify, and also for the rise of other groups like modern conifers, ferns, crocodiles, turtles, insects, and early mammals. With higher temperatures and more rainfall, terrestrial plants have evolved, and humidity-loving ones have become dominant. Without those changes in the world, we could have a completely different natural history. There's some solid proof that volcanic activity has really changed the weather patterns back then. Scientists have found layers in the Earth's core that show different types of carbon. It means there were four massive releases of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. The data on mercury and carbon together shows that the spike in mercury levels was thanks to a major volcanic event that affected the global carbon cycle and not just local eruptions. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.